Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friends. Feel most welcomed to all the Kardec Radio platforms as we gather together as we do every evening at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our daily prayer moment. It is an honor for us to gather together for many reasons. First reason is because in this reincarnation, perhaps more so than ever before, we have the privilege to consciously connect with our Father above. Another reason is because most certainly due to the fact that we know Spiritism in this very incarnation, we now also have come to understand that we are co-creators. So as we pray, we connect to greater minds who have the interest of humanity and of the general good at heart. So we ourselves become workers of the divine light and divine presence on the earth. What a beautiful proposal. And speaking of the divine within us, tonight we are going to be invited by the spirit Maria Dolores through the mediumship of Chico Xavier to experience perhaps one of the most beautiful divine surprises of our lifetime. So welcome dear friends, welcome John Da Rosa, big hug to you. Welcome Betty, thank you for the flowers and the heart. We feel the love and the love feels good. And this is why we gather together to multiply the, thought, the love as we connect thought by thought, feeling by feeling. So we shall begin with an initial prayer. Then we will receive the divine surprise by Maria Dolores. Then we will comment on a couple of highlights from the message. And afterwards, we will say our final prayer. Hello, Souza Silveira. Welcome, dear friend. It's wonderful to have you here on Kardec Radio. So let us begin with an opening prayer. Why? Pray at the very beginning of this moment because we then, by praying, enter the network of God consciously. So let us log in by saying our prayer. Hi, Souza Silveira, you are connecting with us from Brazil. Wonderful, many blessings to this beautiful country. So let us pray, dear friends. Oof, one second, please. Here we go. Let us allow the vibrations of this beautiful music and melody to connect us higher and higher to the Creator above. We would like to begin this prayerful moment by thanking God for the fact that God has wished for us to exist and progress in every moment of every day. We pray so that as we feel the love of God in each breath that we are blessed to take, the mentor spirits accompanying us at this very moment may utilize of our vital forces in benefit of those who are ill at the moment who are transitioning at the moment, 
who are experiencing great anguish and despair at the moment and who have not yet encountered the presence of divine love within their hearts. We pray for those who persecute others. We pray for those who are considered criminals before human law and the divine law. We pray for those who are rebellious. We pray for those who choose to lie rather than to embrace the truth. We pray for those lost in the abyss of addictions. We pray for those battling with mental illnesses. We pray for those dealing with abandonment. And we pray so that the, at this very instant, they may receive a divine surprise of their own by feeling beautifully, lovingly, and unconditionally embraced by Master Jesus. At this moment, we visualize Master Jesus embracing each and every one of us lovingly. And as we hear him say, I am here, we grant him flowers of luminous light for him in his immense kindness to distribute to other hearts who do not yet have the same soul nourishment that we do. And trusting in the eternal love of God for each and every one of us, we now begin our daily prayer moment. And so be it. What a blessing, dear friends, to feel God's love within and beyond us. Welcome, Danielle. It's so wonderful to have you here with us as always. So now let us invite the spirit of Maria Dolores to join us. She has a written or dictated a message through Chico Xavier in the Spiritus Magazine, issue 43, entitled Divine Surprise. Let us read the message together, dear friends. Maria Dolores begins by writing, Good and fraternal soul, if the impulse to pray blesses you, Wherever you wish to pray, to seek the Lord, do it anywhere. Then she continues by saying, The entire earth is an open temple for the inspiration that pours from heaven. But to find the master that you seek, dear soul, come down to life's valleys of tear. Listen to the ones who go during the cold and windy night without being able to tell about their own suffering. They hunger for care and understanding. Stop and care for the child that is consumed by disdain and wiped out by disease. Stop and assist in clothing, healing, and feeding the small flower. Hear the cry of the sick person who has nothing but dust and tears as a bed in a narrow corner in the land of no one. Be aware of the cries of those in the heights of ang anguish the sad heart torn apart by slander. Go where there is affliction, offering to each sufferer a gift of love, and there you will see a divine light, sweetly irradiating peace, goodness, and joy. From this light, 
the deepest part of your trusting soul will hear Jesus tenderly say, Dear soul, come, I hear your voice in prayer everywhere. I must, however, await you in the fields of goodness. You said I was right in knowing that God loves and understands through you. You looked so far away from me, and all along I await you close by. Good soul, I am here. What a divine surprise, dear friends, through the mediumship of Chico Xavier and the beautiful heart of the Spirit of Maria Dolores. We know that Master Jesus is not far away in a cloud high up in the horizon somewhere. He himself is telling us, I am here close by. What does that imply, beloved friends? That implies so many beautiful divine surprises. Divine surprise number one, Master Jesus knows us personally because he's not far in a distant land as some may think, rather he is very near to us, accompanying us step by step. First therapeutic question for us today, how does it feel, dear friend, to know that Master Jesus knows us personally? How does it change our perspective of our own lives to know that Master Jesus is nearby? Do we think of Master Jesus when we sit at our table for our meals? Can we picture Master Jesus sitting next to us when we are, for instance, taking the garbage outside? Can we picture Master Jesus smiling lovingly towards us? When we are waking up in the morning, can we hear the sweet voice of Master Jesus wishing us a beautiful day in God? Good therapeutic question for us because tonight, through Maria Dolores, we have the confirmation that Master Jesus is here. Second divine surprise for us. He, we know that he is here, Master Jesus is here, and that he is awaiting for us, as Maria Dolores wrote, in the fields of goodness. What does that mean? That we shall encounter Master Jesus one on one, in the temple of our own hearts, when, as Maria Dolores described, when we comfort those who are sick, when we bring a seed, a word of hope to those who are experiencing anguish and despair, when we offer a, su a supporting hand to a child that is within our circle, immediate circle of action. When we ourselves choose to feel gratitude for God and thus transform the soils of our own very hearts in the fields of goodness that Master Jesus has told us about. Nowadays, much more so than in the previous recent decades that we have been incarnated for, beloved friends. We have a unique opportunity to be of support, to be light workers, to be co-creators with God consciously. How so? 
by taking the way, the truth, and the light, which is Master Jesus' example. How can we comfort the sick? Nowadays, we can, first of all, and most of all, pray for those who have been impacted by the pandemic, for certain doesn't cost any money, we don't need to leave home, and the wireless network of God is always on. So we can pray on behalf of others. We can also visualize garden angels supporting those who have been and are hospitalized, visualizing them as well, supporting, caring, the healthcare workers and providers who must be physically drained from constantly being on the front lines. We can also pray for the discarnate spirits that are wandering around because we all have been in isolation and they have lost the connections, the points of references that they have had outside of individual homes. So the discarnates may be in some ways homeless as well, depending on their level of evolution. And because we know what we know, because spiritism has brought back to us, thankfully, Master Jesus, at a level of detail that we had never had access to before, we are being called to be a sparkle of divine light in his name wherever we are. Through our actions, those around us, incarnate and discarnate alike, shall know, shall hear, Master Jesus saying, I am here. Through our thoughts and feelings, through choosing to be useful to others, through our thoughts and feelings, we are emanating thought forms that can be utilized by the mentor spirits to remind those who are suffering that Master Jesus is by their side. Through our words, Master Jesus can make himself present. What is the secret then? What is the shift between or from our usual life going about our usual life our way or going about our usual life master jesus's way what is the shift how do we shift we shift by thinking of others emanating feelings towards others searching for opportunities to be of service to others Maria Dolores in this beautiful message already told us some of the ways in which we can be of service. But it all starts, beloved friends, in educating our feelings, emotions, and thoughts. So second therapeutic question for us. Now that we know that Master Jesus is within us, close to us, counting on us? Second therapeutic question. How much of our day do we, how much of our thoughts and feelings throughout a 24-hour period do we dedicate to others? If we had to put our thoughts and feelings in a scale on this side, would be the thoughts referring to our material life, to our family members, to our relatives, co-workers, everything within the realm of our lives. On the other side of the scale 
would be how much we think and feel and are concerned and spend energy on others. What would the percentage be, dear friends? Is it 90% us and 10%, 90% us and 10% others? What would our percentage be? Let us take the time to do a mathematical estimate because then that could be a good thermometer as far as where we find ourselves spiritually. Because if we would like to join Master Jesus in the field of goodness, and if we would like to hear his voice saying, I am here, if we would like to receive this divine surprise, then we are being invited directly by him through Maria Dolores tonight to prioritize the well-being of others over our own. So if our current scale of thoughts and feelings is 90% us, only 10% others, let us work towards changing these statistics a bit. Our goal, little by little, day after day, is to put more of our energy, thought, and time towards serving others than focusing on ourselves. And it is with this in mind that the Spiritual Society of Virginia, the Spiritual Society of Washington, D.C., and Kardec Radio is going to launch a service, a new service, whereby uh, our team is going to attend one-on-one -on -one offer fraternal counseling to COVID-19 patients. Yes, dear friends, because if we would like to be with Master Jesus and hear him and feel his presence, we are to be of service to others. This is why we as a team are expanding our services to also be of support to those experiencing COVID-19 at the moment. So if you, dear friend, know of anyone who may be in need of support, emotional, spiritual support, please write to us at kardecradio at gmail.com and we will be happy to offer these friends more support. Because if we were ourselves in their shoes, we would want the world to stop and embrace us and understand our pain. So in an effort to extend our hands to these brothers and sisters of ours, we will launch this new service of spiritual, emotional support to patients of COVID-19. So pretty soon you will be, you will be able to see the kit, the spiritual, emotional first aid kit that is being put together available on the Spiritual Society of Virginia website. And the team on both realms will make itself available to be of support to others. And all of us, dear friends, are being recruited to be part of this task force. All of us can make a phone call and offer words of encouragement to others who are suffering. All of us can share positivity in our social media. All of us are able to pray and think the good and feel the good so that the mentor spirits may utilize our vitality on behalf of others. So we are all being recruited. Dear friends, after all, 
Master Jesus already had a divine surprise for us tonight by telling us that he is right here counting on us. It feels wonderful to consciously be a part, a member of Master Jesus's loving team. And the beauty of it is that everyone belongs to Master Jesus's team on the earth. No one is out. So we have much beloved friends to be thankful for. This is why right at this moment, we are going to begin our final prayer. So give us one instant so we can uh, begin playing soothing music to facilitate our collective emanation of good feelings and thoughts, not only on behalf of ourselves, but on behalf of others as well. Divine creator of the universe, we thank you for the love that sustains all living beings, not only on the earth, but on the entire universe. We who have been given the promised consoler in this incarnation are so thankful that we pray so that we can use the gift of our voice for the good in service of others so that we can use the ability we have to think as a source of blessings to others so that we use our ability to listen as a source of comfort to one another so that we use our mobility to reach out to one another so that we use our faith to light up sparkles and stars of hope in the horizons of our brothers and sisters who are suffering so much more than we are. And at this very moment, Master and beloved God, we visualize Master Jesus holding a basket of luminous stars and allowing for a shower of luminous healing stars to reach everyone who is experiencing COVID-19 at the moment. We pray so that each patient in every country hears his sweet and loving voice saying, I am here, beloved one. God loves you now and always. Visualizing this luminous shower of healing light, we see that every home on the earth is also being bathed by Master Jesus' sacred love. We now see that his heart has expanded so greatly that it is emanating love towards all points of the globe. And we see hate dissolving, discord dissolving, hopelessness dissolving, sadness dissolving, and from his beautiful hands, we see that the whole globe receives a shower of hope, compassion, and healing. Knowing that Master Jesus is literally by our side, we pray so that we can be more useful to him and to everyone who is already doing the good on the earth. Please sustain us, dear Lord of life, in the pathway of the good 
for we were created to love, to serve, and to learn always. In much gratitude for the beauty of life in all of its dimensions, we humble ourselves and tell God that we love God in all of its greatness and we look forward to understanding more as we serve more and be of goodwill to all of our brothers and sisters and so be it thank you dear friends for the beautiful opportunity to co-create the good together right here and right now for now dear friends we wish you many blessings and we kindly invite you to stay tuned right here on Kardec Radio because here we are always nourishing our souls. Thank you, Elsa Leal. Thank you, Veronica. Thank you, Souza Silveira, Daniel, Beth, John the Rosa, everyone who has joined us. May we continue feeling immersed in God's love. Many blessings, dear friends. Bye for now.